Hello stamping friends, it's Sharon Armstrong, again back with one of the uh, October online Christmas cards. Um, this is a this is one of the cards in a set of six series. There's six cards in the series and this is the card that I want to share with you today. Again, we're using the bright and beautiful stamp set. It comes in clear mount or wood mount. The other item that you will start seeing in some of the cards is the all is calm designer series paper and I just had to share with you how pretty this paper is. Okay, it is double sided just like all of our other designer series papers from Stampin' Up. You get two of each of these designs until you get to the foil almost embossed looking pieces that are in the back. You're going to get one of each pattern. Okay, and um, there's nothing on the back. It is just one sided. So this is more of a specialty type paper, but absolutely gorgeous. I hope you can see how pretty that is on the video. All right, so we're going to be using a small piece of this paper in on this card. And I want to go ahead and get started. Let me tell you what you get in your kit. You're going to get um, a piece, two pieces of the designer series paper, the silver. You're going to get a piece of Whisper White that is not dirty on the back like this one is, but you'll find that it's a very generous piece for you to do your stamping. And I went ahead and did the stamping because I wanted to emboss it and just trying to save a little bit of time. You'll get a star that's already cut out of our brush silver cardstock. And then you'll get your card base. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is actually to stamp my big star. And this is my big one um, on directly onto the card base. Ink that up. And my card is going to go this way. Now, see how that card is kind of moving? Whenever you already have a card that's folded, scored and folded, which yours will be in the kit, you want to hold that down so that it doesn't move on you. Otherwise, you might have a bit of a smear. Okay, so press that down. And I recommended that you have some of the silver embossing, I mean the clear embossing powder, but you can use silver if you have that. Um, I wouldn't want to use white because it'll take away from your silver uh, ink. Okay, tap that off. Whoops. Should have used my embossing buddy on that one. It's a little bit staticky. Okay. I'm going to heat set it. Get that really good and shiny. What we're doing is melting that powder into that ink. Very pretty, very pretty. All right, the next thing you'll do is you're going to take your silver star that I sent you and we're going to attach that on with some snail and I want to offset the star because I'm going to be layering another one on top of it. Okay, all right, so I'm going to set this piece aside and the next thing I want to share with you is how I hung the little stars. Okay, so I wanted some silver thread and the only thing I could come up with was the baker's twine and it says silver. However, it's not white. It doesn't match my cardstock. So here's the answer. You're going to get a piece of this in your kit. And what you do is your piece will come just like this. And then you're going to take and unwind the silver. And we're just going to use the silver. Huh, I was so excited. I had seen that at convention and kind of forgot about it until um, out of necessity, I wanted just silver. Okay, so we're gonna cut this off and you can keep that other piece for something else. You never know when you might need a piece of twine for something. All right, so this is very, very fine. I don't even know if you can see it on the video. I'm gonna lay it down right there. I've already pre-punched out my stars and I'm going to be using some stars 
And in your PDF, you will know where these stars came from. But just trust me to say um, that you will get instructions to do that. I'm going to layer these on top of each other. And then I'm going to take the paper piercing tool. And I'm going to just punch all the way through. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave them together because I found that it was a little bit easier. Now, the hard part is threading that through. I went and grabbed my uh, dental flosser. They come in little cases or little packages. You can find them for, um, <clears throat> excuse me, at the grocery store or, you know, pharmacy, whatever, for uh, using on braces. And as you can see, it will help me thread this very thin piece of silver threading right through Perfect. Okay, much easier than struggling. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of separate, and I've got two glue dots on the back of my star. I'm just going to lay my stars face down, and I'm going to take one side and attach it to a glue dot, and then take the other side kind of spread out my stars a little bit so that they will hang. And then I'm going to attach that to a glue dot. There we go. Okay, so these little tails that are just hanging about, you are free to cut them off, but I like to just secure them with a little bit of snail. And that way it stays in place and doesn't flop around when my friend is receiving her card. Okay. So, can you see how they just kind of hang? All right, all right, let's put our card together. All right, I'm going to use our awesome dimensionals again because um, I do want this to just stand up a little bit, give it a little bit of pop. And I'm just gonna use four. Okay, center this on our card and take our little stars and I am also going to use a glue dot underneath the stars to keep them in place like this. The other star that I cut out was the word joy. I highly recommend that on your stamping diagram you will see the tiny word joy and you need to stamp that on a big piece of paper like I'm showing you on the PDF and then cut it out. Otherwise trying to stamp on the little star it's it gets kind of hard. Taking another dimensional and putting that on the back and then placing that right there on top. Okay, can you see that? Cute, cute, cute. For the final piece, you, um, you received a strip in your packet. I'm just going to take my snips and trim that off a bit. And then you got these two pieces of designer series papers. Like this, make a little banner, banner tail. I'm going to attach these with snail. And I want one on one side and one on the other. Okay. And 
what else are we going to use? Of course, we're going to use some dimensionals. Now, I want to point out, on this one, I did a little banner tail. On this one, I did not. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Um, I think it's going to be cute either way, so I wanted to give you the option. So, there's card number two without the banner, and then card number one with the banner tail. I hope you enjoyed this card. Come back for the next video.